In this video, we'll show you how to use your laser machine to engrave an elegant wedding sign in just a few easy steps. For this project, Sam and Lee brought in a blank sign from Hobby Lobby that they wanted to engrave for their friend's upcoming wedding. It was made of a thin MDF that had a little texture to it, and it was painted in white on the front. The MDF was bordered by the thick black frame you can see here. It's a really simple piece, but because we don't do this kind of thing very often, we had to talk through the steps necessary to pull this off flawlessly, since they only had the one sign and we didn't want to ruin it. So the first step was to apply a paper mask to the top of the part to be engraved. This helped to eliminate any burn marks or charring and make sure the engraving was nice and clean. An oversized piece of mask was applied over the top. It was then burnished down with the plastic squeegee to make sure it adhered nicely to the surface and wouldn't lift up. Dave used scissors and an X-Acto knife to cut it down to size. Sam's a really talented artist who spends a lot of his time working on fun art for the company but he put his elegant hat on when creating this design. He worked in Adobe Illustrator, starting with a script font, and then used his tablet to create more of a hand-drawn effect with the heart in the middle of the two names. Sam also measured the sign and added the green rectangles to represent the outer frame, which helped with making sure the design was engraved exactly where he wanted it. The Illustrator file was saved down to a legacy format so that it was compatible with the software we use Dave pulled the Illustrator file into Corel Draw and first did a quick marking of the border of the sign on some chipboard so that the sign could be placed in the laser in the proper location for the engraving. Marking the chipboard is just a quick and cheap way to make a temporary jig. Once the piece was positioned on the marked lines on the chipboard in the laser and we got the laser focused in the center of the sign, we were ready for engraving. The design was sent to the laser for engraving, which took 23 long minutes. We kept checking on the progress to make sure it was aligned perfectly and to see how visible the engraving was. If the engraving didn't look as deep or pronounced as necessary, we figured that we could run a second pass of the engraving job as long as the sign was not moved or shifted at all. Once the sign was moved, it would be pretty difficult to get it perfectly aligned again. But the engraving turned out great so we didn't need to worry about that. Depending on the material being engraved, residue can be left behind, and then in this case, because of the adhesives used in the MDF, it left behind a slightly tacky dust. We used an air compressor to blow it off the engraving, which worked really well. What would also work well in some cases is a damp magic eraser. The final step was to remove the mask from the sign. Three of us ended up helping out with that part, and Lee happened to be the smart one who grabbed some tweezers for the small pieces. And voila! Congratulations to Steven and Jenny who are hopefully not watching this before they receive their gift. Thanks for watching. Let us know in the comments what you think or if you've ever made anything like this. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and click the bell to be notified of future videos. We have more fun projects coming soon. Stay tuned.